I'm very excited um, to announce my candidacy to be the next Congresswoman from Congressional District 1. Just when you thought former House Speaker Chrysanta Duran had her sights set on Republican Senator Cory Gardner's seat, that's not happening. Duran is focused on the first district in a decidedly Democratic Denver district where Diana DeGette has served Congress for 22 years. Do you have any concerns that this will be viewed by Democrats as trying to divide the party? I think competition is good. And I believe it is time to do more. Duran just released this new video detailing her history. A sixth generation Coloradan who grew up in North Glen in Arvada, attended DU, CU for law school, and at age 29 ran for office and won, serving Northwest Denver for eight years, and made history as the first ever Latina Speaker of the House in the country. This 38 year old says the first congressional district needs a fresh set of eyes. A bold move given that no Democratic contender has come close to unseating the 61 year old get the most senior of Colorado's Washington delegation, a seat she took over from Pat Schroeder. The district has changed a lot since 1997 when Congresswoman get was elected. And I applaud the work that she has done in the past on behalf of the district. But I also think that in this time where we have Donald Trump in the White House, we have seen the elevation of hate and fear fear. It is time for something new and different. So to use your words, are you new and different? And what would you do that would be new and different? I'm very proud that during the time that I served as Speaker of the House, that those two years are being held up as the most productive in Colorado in a decade. Even though some people might say you, you're, you're stirring the pot when really the Democrats should be focused elsewhere on other races, like Senator Gardner's race? Well, the status quo ha enabled somebody like Donald Trump to become president of the United States. And so uh, at the end of the day, I believe in democracy. I believe that people should have a choice and let the people decide who they think is the best leader to move our country forward.